At least one-fourth of the nearly 700,000 veterans who served in the Gulf War suffer from Gulf War illness. Continue our series of salute to veterans. We look at the neurological disorders many vets suffer from after their duty. And one place on the Sun Coast they can turn to for help. SNN's Hallie Pilot has a closer look. We get a lot of veterans coming to our clinic. We're here, we're working night and day to try and find treatments for these conditions. Sarasota's Ross Camp Institute researches neurodegenerative and neuropsychiatric conditions. Many of which are relevant to our veterans and our active duty military. So we do a lot of work on Alzheimer's disease and we also work on traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress disorder and Gulf War illness. To identify more effective treatments and diagnostic approaches. And every year they invite veterans to learn more. We open our doors, bring in the community and show folks what we're doing. With presentations about the most common disorders among vets. And then they're touring the labs right now uh, with our scientists and learning what happens in each lab and how it all applies. Well, I came to see what this was about here, about their treatment for head injuries, post-traumatic stress, things of that nature. Hill comes from a long line of veterans. I have a son that was in the first Gulf War and I have a son wounded in this war. So he knows firsthand what the after effects can be. I mean, I have, and my my middle boy, uh, he's gone through uh, the PTSD and the TBI uh, treatment. I I'm going to come back and go to their clinic uh, for a memory check. I feel very passionately about the fact that if people have served our country, that they should be looked after when they come back. With a salute to our veterans, I'm Hallie Pilot. Really important work there, and if you want to learn more, you can visit RossCampInstitute.org. And as a Gulf War vet, I'm very thankful that I haven't had any of these symptoms, but I know a lot of vets who have, and certainly this is important work. So. Very important. Nice to have an organization yeah. that handles this and helps with something like this on the Sun Coast. Without question, and our salute to veterans continues tomorrow and all week long here on SNN.